great many people see you as a hero. There are some who would prefer the word vigilante. The movie Captain America Civil War tells the story of a conflict between superheroes. It all starts when during an Avengers mission, some innocents are killed. The Avengers are all deeply affected by the tragedy. Okay, that's enough. So much so in Tony Stark Iron Man's case that he agrees with a proposal to put the Avengers under the control of the United Nations. We need to be put in check. Isn't it only right, he reasons, that the world should decide if and when heroes with such power will be called into action? Captain America and a number of other supers disagree. It's indeed horrible and devastating when innocents are killed. But isn't that the better choice than hundreds or even thousands falling at the hands of the evildoers because of inaction? As superheroes such as Black Widow, War Machine, and Spider-Man side with Tony, the Cap rallies friends such as the Falcon, Scarlet Witch, and Ant-Man. And a clash of titans fighting over law versus freedom begins to take shape. I was wrong about you. The whole world was wrong about you. Here we have another Marvel World sequel that raises questions of right and wrong in the midst of a superhero spectacle. This one even focuses on the moral consequences of choices made, even when they're made with the best of intentions. There's plenty here that could be talked through on a car ride back home. That said, heroes trading powerful blows could be a bit intense for young fans. Lots of deadly violence and profanities only make that worse. With those cautions, I'm giving Captain America Civil War three scratch shields out of five for family friendliness. For a detailed review, be sure to visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Bob Olszewski for Focus on the Families Plugged In Movie Review.